Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my review of Deadpool with no spoilers in this review. Um, <laughs> I went to see this. Of course, I'm a big fan of the first one, so I definitely wanted to see this one. And again, this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Of course, you know, the first one was, you know, it's like a Merc. Deadpool characterizes the Merc with the mouth, of course, because he, he, you know, he's always cracking jokes and stuff. And of course, he has a healing factor and stuff, and he's a badass. Uh, and I love the first movie. The first movie was hilarious and funny, and this had great action in it and everything else. And of course, the same director didn't come back. I think he went off to do something else. But they got one of the directors from uh, the John Wick movies to direct. So I got what the guy's name is exactly. But anyway, I was looking forward to seeing this. And it's hard. I, I'm going to tell you what the movie's about, but I'm not going to try not to spoil it in this review. I'm going to do a spoiler spoiler review, but that'll be on my other channel in the description box. Anyway, this movie, like I said, you've seen the trailers, so this is not a spoiler. Uh, you basically Cable comes from the future, it's just that he wants to, basically he wants to, to, to kill this kid. And of course, Deadpool wants to stop him, and he forms a team, <laughs> uh, gets a sort of bunch of characters uh, together to stop, De you know, stop uh, Cable from murdering this kid. And of course, it's a lot more complicated than that, but I don't want to, you know, then get into spoilers. But let me say, this movie, I enjoyed it a lot. It had me laughing, you know, pretty much the whole movie. Uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds, again, he was born to play this part of Wade Wilson. <laughs> you know, Deadpool, he's just absolutely hilarious, you know, with the one-liners and, you know, with the action. And he's hilarious. And I love the way he interacts with the diff various different characters. Uh, you have, of course, you have T.J. Miller in there as Weasel. You know, it's kind of, you know, his bartender friend that he hangs out with. And of course, they still have their little their banter, which is great. And then uh, you also have uh, in this movie you have Vanessa played by Marina Baccarin, you know, who plays his wife, uh, Vanessa. And you know, of course, they still have their little chemistry as well. And then of course you have various other characters, new characters that get introduced into this movie. You have Zazie Beetz playing Domino. She's the mutant that you know that's her mutant gift that she's luck. You know, she I forgot exactly how they say her luck, but her thing is luck. Like she, you know, you know, she doesn't get hurt or something because she has luck. I've got, there's a, a way that they describe, but I can't remember what it was. The way her character, um, you know, she's lucky. That's her, her, her mutant power, and she's lucky. Okay, that she doesn't get hurt or anything. Things work out in her favor, put it that way. And of course, you have, of course, Josh Brolin as uh, Cable, and he's absolutely fantastic in this movie, uh, Josh Brolin. I really wanted the guy Stephen Lang to be... Uh, Cable, but I think Josh Brolin did a great job as Cable. Okay, he's, he could do the action, and he was <laughs> he basically he's a straight man in this movie. Although he does have his moments in this movie, but he's basically a straight man to Ryan Reynolds' character. You know, Ryan Reynolds trying to get in the way of him trying to kill this kid. And also, you have uh, again, you have Terry Crews in there as Bedlam. You have uh, uh, Rob's, uh, not you know the guy that played it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Starsgar, Bill Skarsgård, that's his name. He plays uh I forgot the character he plays, but he's a, he's one of the, another one of the mutants that he gets recruited by Deadpool to help him. And then you have who else? You have of course you have if you see the trailer, you see that he, he has a guy named uh, Peter, just a regular normal guy. You saw the ad and wanted to sign up. And again, this movie is absolutely hilarious. Oh, okay, Bill Skarsgård's character is called Z uh Zaltis Zelkes. Yeah, and he spits like acid from his mouth and stuff. Anyway, but again, you, you also have the returning things. You have Colossus, you know, who's CGI, and of course, you, and then you have a uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I love that name. You know, played by Brianna uh, Hadebrand, you know, with her usual snarky self. She's in this as well. And again, I love this movie. This movie's hilarious uh, uh, and funny. And I like what I like about this movie Mostly, it's like, again, it's different from the first movie. They kind of, you know, they go in a, in a different direction. But I like that the story is different, but it's still interesting. And I, and I like sequels that they don't repeat the same thing from the first movie. You know, they you know, they, they try something different. And I think this movie, I think they largely succeeded with what they, you know, trying something different. And I don't, I can't talk about it without spoiling it. So I, I'll get into that when I do my spoiler review of it. But, I, I again, this movie is hilarious and and funny and great action in it and this again I thought uh, the actors did a good part especially Zaza Beats I don't know if she's acted in anything else before uh, but I thought she was great as Domino okay she's confident she has charisma 
and uh, definitely want like to see her act again in something else. She's definitely uh, she has presence, so I really liked her character as well. And of course, you know, Josh Brolin again. Again, I loved him as uh, Cable. I think he was really, really good. And Josh Brolin is, is like knocking out of the park. First Thanos, and now Cable. He's really uh, having a real good year. <laughs> and again, Bill Sarkar is in this movie, but he's not in as much. But I like his character. And, and, and of course, Terry Crews is Terry Crews. <laughs> okay, and T.J. Miller. I thought has some great lines in this movie as well. Uh, and so I, I really I liked his character a lot as well. And I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Like the only negative for me is that certain characters weren't in the movie enough. Okay, That's a, without spoiling it, certain characters, uh, I thought that kind of short shirt. Uh, but I can understand that with a lot of the characters that you have in this movie somebody's going to get the short end of the stick and uh, certain characters did so that and, and again I don't think this movie is as good as the first one I think the first one is just be, uh, maybe because it's the first but I think it's I think the first movie is just a lot funnier than this one although this one like I said had me cracking up <laughs> uh, left and right but I think the first movie is just a, slightly better than this one okay but I, I, I did enjoy this movie a lot okay and definitely looking forward to Part three, four, five, six, whatever. However long Ryan Reynolds wants to do this, uh, I just think he, this 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 is his part to, to you know the play, okay. And I would love to see him play Deadpool in any other movie, and and uh, eventually I guess when when uh, Marvel or Disney buys twenty six, well that buys twenty six Fox, but gets the rights to these characters, you know you can throw them in in one of these you know an X Men movie, you know Marvel DC Marvel makes. An X Men movie, so you can throw him in there as well. I just, I just love his character. <laughs> it just, again, Ryan Reynolds just plays it so perfectly. It's just, it's just, it's always interesting and fun to watch. Okay, and I definitely loved it. Anyway, I'm gonna give uh, Deadpool two. I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay, I really enjoyed it a lot. Like I said, only minor nitpicks. Like I said, I think the first movie was a lot funnier than this one, but this one was still funny to me. I just think some characters got didn't. Got okay, short shrift, and but again, I understand it because you know you got all these characters, and somebody's gonna wind up getting the short end of the stick, okay? And that would be my only kind of negative part about this. But again, Ryan Reynolds with the comedy and the action, this part, this part is perfect for him. He just he kills it every time, and I, I really enjoyed it a lot. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of Deadpool 2. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments on below and let me know what you think of it. And what would you rate it? Okay, I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And I'm going to have a spoilers review of that, of Deadpool 2, on that channel. So if you want to tune in and why well, I get to talk about in depth about stuff about this movie, then tune, you know, follow the link. And that video will be up after this video gets uploaded. Okay, so then you can follow it, and then you can watch it and see my spoiler review. And then maybe down the line, we're going to do maybe do a hang out with a couple of other fellow YouTubers. I just have to contact a few of them and find out if they've seen Deadpool 2, if they want to do that. So look for that maybe in the future, a hang out talking about Deadpool 2. Anyway, uh, take care, be well, subscribe. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.